The Trump campaign uh, distributed an open letter signed by nearly 50 Republican lawmakers who served in the U.S. military. In it, they fiercely go over these uh, uh, embellishments or alleged embellishments mm -hmm. that Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has made about his honorable military service. Now, we at the lead have certainly covered these issues as well. You heard me just uh, asking about it. Uh, but it, it is worth noting two of these Republican signatories are accused of similar embellishments. Please believe me. Please believe me. Wow, those are some wild claims to be making from a guy who's currently being sued for defamation by a Navy veteran. Today, I have a clip of the insufferable and currently being sued Jake Tapper raging at Republicans for correctly calling out Tim Walls for stolen valor. If you're not sure what stolen valor is, it's when you serve and then embellish or just outright lie about your service. And it can be a crime if you do it for monetary benefit, which is exactly what Tim Walls did. Like I've shown in past videos, he is on video multiple times, once saying that he was at war and another time allowing other people to claim he was at war. There's some other stuff connected to this about his rank and retiring before his deployment, but I want to focus on his claims of being a war veteran, which his campaign now calls a mistake. Oh, how convenient. So let's check out this clip of Jake Tapper desperately trying to absolve another Democrat of accountability, then stick around for the rest of the story. The Trump campaign uh, distributed an open letter signed by nearly 50 Republican lawmakers who served in the U.S. military. In it, they fiercely go over these uh, uh, embellishments or alleged embellishments. What the hell are you talking about? That's just a lie. It's not alleged. He's on video saying these things, and the Harris campaign has already come out and called it a mistake. Go over these uh, uh, embellishments or alleged embellishments that Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has made about his honorable military service. It, it is worth noting two of these Republican signatories are accused of similar embellishments. Republican Congressman Ronnie Jackson of Texas signed this letter in which he referred to himself as a retired Navy admiral. He is not, not anymore. The U.S. Navy demoted Congressman Jackson to the rank of captain in 2022 after a scathing watchdog report. It has also been reported many times that Republican Congressman Troy Nels, also from Texas, used to until recently wear a combat infantry bin, infantryman badge that actually the U.S. Army gave to him in error and revoked. Congressman Nels has taken off the badge, not because it was wrong for him to wear, he says, but because we in the media are vultures. Yeah. How seriously are, are people in the American public supposed to take this open letter when apparently none of the signatories are concerned the two of the Republican signatories on it engaged in similar things that they're accusing Governor Walz of doing? Is it possible that this letter is more about politics and actually being offended by what they're accusing Governor Walz of allegedly doing? Hmm. We'll be right back. Fuck! He's dead. You're dog meat, pal. Jake Tapper is straight up vile. That letter was signed by actual veterans who put their lives on the line. Unlike Jake Tapper, who didn't serve, but then wrote books about people who did and made millions. Also, I'd like to point out it's hilarious how outraged they are about this letter, yet had no problems partaking in the scheme from Biden and the 51 intelligence experts letter. But yeah, did you notice Jake Tapper's pathetic sleight of hand there to distract away from what Tim Walls actually did? He presents these two Republicans who he erroneously claims did something similar, which is by their own standards a whataboutism. Then there's the third group, which is unfortunately for the country, most of the House Republican caucus, which is the what about caucus. They're out there saying, well, what about this rally that got violent in, in Portland? That is completely different. First, Ronnie Jackson, who actually deployed to Iraq as an emergency medicine physician with a surgical shock trauma platoon. He's an actual honest to goodness hero. And yet Jake Tapper talks about him like he's scum. He talks about him like he's better than Ronnie Jackson. And like I said, Jake Tapper never served as anything other than a state propagandist. He does not help people, he gaslights them. Jackson was actually demoted after the Navy found him guilty of drinking alcohol while on duty, acting inappropriately and routinely yelling at subordinates. So basically all the things that Kamala Harris has been accused of, look, those things aren't great, but I'm willing to give a guy who's probably been through a lot of really tough shit a little bit of leeway. Bottom line, Ronnie Jackson never claimed to have gone to war when he didn't. 
Only Tim Walls did that. The other senator, Troy Nels, was awarded a combat infantryman badge, which he did wear, even after it was later revoked as a mistake. But Nels claimed it was a political hit job motivated to denigrate his service. I don't know what the absolute truth is about that story, but what I do know is that Nels did serve in Iraq and did serve in Afghanistan. So regardless of if he was in combat or not, it really doesn't matter. He did serve in a war zone and he never claimed to have gone to war when he did. Tim Walls, on the other hand, did claim he went to war when he had not, and that is stolen valor. So no, Fapper, your whataboutisms are not at all similar. And I'll say something else about Nels is that the media, of course, treated him completely differently than they're treating Walls now. Well, an investigation by CBS News has contradicted claims made by Texas Republican Congressman Troy Nels about his military record. The report says in part, quote, there is no question that Nels served overseas, engaged in combat, and was awarded a Bronze Star for his duties there. But military documents obtained by CBS News after a months long investigation and a review of his service record by the U.S. Army at the Pentagon show Nels received one, not two, Bronze Star medals, and his combat infantryman badge from Afghanistan was revoked from his service record in 2023 because Nels served as a civil affairs officer not as an infantryman or special forces soldier. Of course, in Tapper's case, his defense of veterans is purely partisan. He hates Republican veterans, as you just saw, but there are other examples. In 2021, he actually questioned Republican Brian Mast's love for America. Mast lost both legs in Afghanistan. Just one other thing, just yep. that's relevant. What you're saying right now is relevant because Congressman Brian Mast, mm -hmm. a Republican from Florida, who lost his legs, by the way, fighting for democracy abroad. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know what his, I don't know about his commitment to it here in the United States. All right, we waste him. No offense. Oh, that's so weird because I remember Jake Tapper and his cohorts spending four years casting doubt on the 2016 election using wild conspiracy theories about Donald Trump being a Russian spy. Oh, that was different. And like I mentioned earlier, he's currently involved in a defamation suit because he smeared a Navy veteran. Fapper is a real stand-up guy. So much so that the judge in this case straight up said that he doesn't believe anything Fapper says. Ugh, these people are exhausting. In fact, I think that's part of the strategy. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.